Alright guys, this is going to be a League of Legends guide that I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to be showing how you lane with Gangplank. Um, I've seen a lot of gang guides, and I've seen a lot of guides for Gangplank in general. And um, I really think that there needs to be a, a better guide for how to lane with him. I know how to jungle Gangplank as well. I've done it, but I honestly would say it's a lot weaker compared to lane Gangplank. Um, to optimize Gangplank's efficiency, you definitely want to be in either a solo lane or a bot lane with a support. He does need a lot of farm, but if you can get that, that farm that is so pivotal for him, you're going to be basically unstoppable. So in this video, um, I actually, this is just a normal game that I played. Um, Cho'Gath is going to be my um, bot lane. He's going to be playing more support for me, um, basically just letting me get all of the CS. And their Gangplank is actually going to play mid. He's got a custom skin. I'm assuming he plays Gangplank more than me. But if you learn how to farm effectively, you can pretty much beat even the player in mid. So um, I'm going to be showing that off. And yeah, this is a really good game I played with Gameplay. Um, but as I was saying, this is going to be a different guide in that I'm literally going to show you the whole game. I think a lot of problems with guides is they, they do lots of um, cutting, right? And, you know, I would do that if I was effective at um, video editing. But I'm not for this video. Um, they do a lot of cutting and they show little bits like how to lane, how to team fight, how to... But they don't really show the transitions. They don't show, like, all the items. They don't... I mean... I think it's really effective if you see the whole game from one player's perspective and the person then tells you how to play the character. I think that's a really effective way for learning. And if I'm wrong and you guys want me to just cut a bunch of different clips of, say, me laning, then one of me team fighting, then one of me laning, then, you know, that kind of stuff, I can do that. But I honestly think this is going to be a much more effective guide than most out there. And, yeah. I, I'll try and still keep it a little bit exciting, give a little bit of commentary and that kind of stuff. But in general, I will be focusing on how to play Gangplank. So as for skills, you're going to see I'm going to level up Q first. Um, max Q as fast as you can for that extra gold. Always try and last hit with Q. Um, basically, spam this for your Q. Um, I'll post my runes below, but I'm going to go over them here. You can always rewind if you miss it. Um, I go Armor Pen Reds. Um, I either go armor seals or mana regen seals. I believe this is back when I had mana re I had mana regen seals on. I honestly would say go for mana regen seals over armor. I think they're better. Um, dodge seals, if you have them, are probably better than mana regen. But mana regen is a problem, and I'm almost thinking of incorporating a Chalice of Harmony into my build because basically you spam your Q to get as much farm as you can, and it is kind of costly 40 farm or 40 mana, which doesn't seem like less, but you do it every five seconds and about every three seconds late game. So it is pretty important, and I honestly would say get a blue buff if your team doesn't need it because the cooldowns are great. And he needs it. So anyway, so yes, armor pen marks, mana regen seals. Um, right now I'm using scaling ability power glyphs. Um, that's only because I don't have CDR blues yet. But honestly, the AP is actually not bad when coupled with your w, w which will give you more health back. Um, and then uh, armor pen marks. Or armor pen quints. Um, I don't run crits just because I think honestly you get better damage with armor pens and crits are pretty expensive. I don't want to buy a whole rune book just for gangplank. So if you if you do just play ads and you want to um, do that, then I definitely would say get um, armor pens or just use your armor pens from your ads. I actually have no sound. I don't know what's going on at all. Hopefully you guys can hear sound. Um, cause I don't, I'm not getting any sound right now. And I think As you can see, basically just, but, um, you, I, we're in a lane with a, Lee, or, ugh, sorry guys, an Irelia, and I believe there's a Soraka in there, or no, Soraka's top, so it's Irelia and somebody else. Our Anivia did get first blood, so good job to him. It's an Irelia and a Morgana. They're going to be doing a lot of harassment and... But that does not mean I'm going to waste my Q on them. I'm still going to be using my Q as much as possible for farming. I really don't harass them in this lane at all. And um, Cho'Gath basically is going to be playing that role of supporting me with the harassment and also um, doing the... Um, he, while well, he can't heal me, I, sh I wish I had a Soraka. But um, we'll be keeping them off me for the most part and allowing me to get optimal CS. So as you can see, um, CSing already pretty well. I'm at 11. I'm tied with Anivia in mid, which is good for me. Um, 
our, our Malphite's actually really bad this game, guys. So you're going to see that. Pretty fail Malphite. But anyway, last hit with your Q when you can. Always go for the minion, the big minion. Um, he's worth extra gold. And just um, try and get every minion you can. Um, stay If you want to just stay in the back and use Parlay, that works quite well. Um, the only the only problem is you're going to have a little bit of trouble getting these minions back here. But do not be too aggressive, especially with this snare here and the fact that I'm out of mana so I can't even remove Scurvy. Um, but either way, um, basically just try and stay up in health. You can always use Remove Scurvy to get some more health back. If you have someone who's harassing well, then that's good. But honestly, right now, I'm kind of... I actually think I have Armor Runes on. I'm not 100% sure. I might have Mana Regen. I may have Armor. I'm not really sure. As I said, but I... Um, mana Regen, off the, I think, would actually be better than Armor. Armor, really only good for jungling. And uh, I did say earlier that I think um, lane gangplank is better, and that's just because you get so much more farm. Your Q really helps you. Um, a little bit of damage going down on me. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. I do have two health pits, pots, which I forgot about. Um, and you can see our Nivea is actually having trouble with this GP. He's pushing pretty aggressively, and he just does a lot of damage. I'm not sure if he's running crit runes or what he's running, but... Um, He's going to be tough for me to go up against because he's definitely going to be out leveling me. He's definitely going to be out farming me, and he is mid, so it's going to be tough. Um, regardless, I am farming incredibly well. As you can see, I don't know why I just missed that big one. Um, but I am at 16 farm. I'm tied with Anivia, and I'm beating their gangplank by four. I have the best farm in the game. So, um, Also, our Anivia is doing well against gangplank. I think he tower dived her, and she had egg form, which is always good for not dying. And I do get E second. Um, you want to max Q as fast as you can. Get one point in W, one point in E. And then depending on how much damage you're taking, either max W or E. Um, you can't forget E does give you the um, uh, extra attack damage passively, which is good. And also increases your attack damage by quite a lot when it's active. So you do want to activate that before every team fight. And we see our Malphite goes down again. I'm not really sure how you die as Malphite. Um, the tank. He has an Alistar in the lane with him too, which is why it's so sad. Now, the only thing I'll say I don't like about Gangplank is that in the mid game, mid slash early game, you are going to really be dependent on, um, on crits. Because it's not until the late game where you're going to be critting about every shot. Um, the late to the very late game so really in the um before the late game starts you need to um god i have my cs stolen you really need to be aware of that and you need to not overcommit. you can't i i honestly never bet on a crit if i get a crit and it's a lucky crit then i'm gonna be happy about it but otherwise never bet on a crit until you're up there at like 97 percent um even even with 70 percent i'm still cautious i don't I don't play too aggressively with Gangplank because I know the crit is a chance, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bet my life on a chance. Um, I'm not that risky of a Gangplank player, to be honest, and I, I really do think it pays off not to be risky. Um, as you can see, my farm doing pretty well. I'm sitting at about 23. Um, I have the best farm in the game, tied with Malphite, who dies a lot. And I'm not really sure how he's such a good farm, but you know what? It's all right. Because we're 2-2 two -two at 7 minutes and 20 seconds, and I'm farming effectively. So that is a large part thanks to my Gath, to my Cho'Gath. Um, still not getting every farm. I'm not at that level yet. Um, as you can see, the last game I casted was my first... Or the last Gangplank game I casted, I think, was first time Gangplank. And that wasn't actually that long to, that long ago. So um, don't have as much practice as I'd like. But definitely getting up there in terms of practice. So a lot of damage going down on Cho'Gath, um, but I did get an amazingly lucky crit, so that's going to really um, push her back. I hit for about 300 there, which is a big chunk of her health, and um, kind of lucky. Like, honestly, I haven't been critting minion. If you guys have been watching, I really haven't crit, like, any minion, and so the fact that I just got a crit on that was pretty awesome. Um, as well, using my parlay to farm, and I will get my R here, and I'm not really sure. I don't know if I got get an ult kill. Um, Gangplank actually does tower dive Anivia and does go down, so I'm not really sure if that was worth it for him. It's tough though, because if you blow if she blows her egg, you really want to just kill Anivia because you know, you know, this is like your one chance until her egg's back up. So 
it's a tough call. But as you can see, farming quite well. And that's really, as lane gangplank, um, yes, you can go for early kills, I guess. But for me, I really only focus on farming, knowing that my late game is going to be much better. And you can see us dodging, like, all of Irelia's ult. Um, so, yeah, if you, if you really just focus on farming, th that's basically, I'll be repeating that phrase a lot. Just focus on farming, and you're going to win the late game. Um. And I, I have mitted with Gangplank. It's actually not bad. I mitted against a Vlad. I was actually winning. Which, is, I don't know if he was a bad Vlad or not. But, um... I, the only problem is you can't cre clear creeps, creeps super fast without p making yourself vulnerable to ranged attacks. That's the one downside of it. And Malphite actually going down to Soraka, which... As, as Alistar says right here, are you serious? So, as you guys have noticed, I'm actually not backing that often. Um, recently I read a guide where it's, um, saying it's actually better not to get an Avers Blade, um, and instead go straight for that IE than Boots, and honestly, I'm gonna agree with that. Um, the Avers Blade takes so long for it to pay itself off, and I just don't think it's worth it. And I was sitting by the tower to call my Mias and, uh, give X a little bit of XP to Shogath because he has been out of lane more than I have. I actually have not backed, and that's really what you want to do is Gangplank. Use your um, remove scurvy to your advantage and just stay in lane as long as you can farming. Luckily, our mid is out far out laning, but our top is being out lane. So really, it's it's up to... This is kind of like this tiebreaker lane, I like to think, because um, both other lanes are laning. Um... Effectively, uh, top lane we are losing, I would say, um, but mid lane we are winning, which uh, it's always good to mid leave bleh, win your mid lane. Ugh, words, stupid words. So at this point, it's four to four. Ten minutes into the game, ten and a half minutes in the game, a little bit around there. Um, I did not call the Irelia Mia. I think I said bought me a while ago, um, but I think that was my blunder. I, we should have called it again. And we did say I really was still Mia. But yeah, it was a little bit of a blunder on our part. Thankfully, she did get away. Um, and she's a good support about it. I really hate it when people just like freak out over a missed Mia. Um, it, yes, it is aggravating. If you get ganked, it does suck. But uh, if you destroy your team morale by yelling at them for you know missing a Mia or something, I honestly think that's, that's just not worth it. Um, so, yes, just going to continue farming. As you can see, our lane is, we never actually push our lane. Um, it's not because they have a jungler, which they actually don't. They have top lane with Leona and Soraka, which, I don't know. I think they split their lanes up really bad. Um, basically, Leona is a support character in my eyes. That's the most effective role I've seen her play. And because of that, um, I would definitely say not to um, stick her with a Soraka because it's like double support. And a lot of damage going down on Leona. Leona flashes and is healed by Soraka. We'll get out of there just fine. I am out of mana again. One of the dreadful curses of the uh, pirate is the fact that you always run out of mana. And my um, uh, farm is still pretty good. I'm at 41. Um, I actually did not know this Malphite farm so well this game. But I do have almost the best farm in the game. I'm one away from Malphite. So I'll just say I have the best farm in the game. And I might go for a crit here. I don't think I'll get it. I don't have enough mana for remove scurvy, which cost me, but I'm going to run as much as I can. Wow. So I think at that point, it's a good idea to back. A great flash by Cho'Gath. And apparently Gangplank's tower diving again. She do, he does get the egg form. And yeah. Um, so I'm going to back. I did get my boots first. Usually, I go for... Um, I just rush IE. This was a bit of a mistake. I should have gone for a BF sword. And, um, yeah. I did pop my ult to try and get them away from the turret. And that way they will be attacked instead of Cho'Gath. Or, not instead of Cho'Gath, instead of the minions. And I'll go back to hold. So, good hold by Cho'Gath really stopped them from getting any damage on the turret. So, really well played by Cho'Gath there. And apparently they towered out Malphite. And Soraka killed him. That should never happen, by the way. You should never die to a Soraka, even. I don't even know. So I'm just going to farm it up. Just try and um, get.
get every minion. As you can see, I'm getting pretty good at farming with him. I did just kill all six minions at the turret, which, you know, is really what you want to do. Um, apparently, Malphite teleporting in, going for the Gangplank kill. He is exhausted, though, and Gangplank should have a removed scurvy up. Um, he did just eat it. I don't know the health of these characters. If he does throw an E, could do a lot of damage, but um, she is out of mana, so not going to happen. We are 4-6. to six. We are losing at this point, but really the ace in the hole is going to be the AD carry. Um, like any AD carry, obviously all you want to do is just farm the crap out of the game. Just get the best farm in the game, so when team fights roll around, you really just start doing the damage and become really dangerous. And I was actually thinking about mixing some attack speed runes in here, um, just because I think they're pretty good on Gangplank. Um, because until you start getting your, until after you get your um, IE, then you're going to start getting your PDs, and that's going to give you your attack speed. But until then, you have a generally not very fast attack speed. Um, mine's only 0.873, and I don't actually know if I have attack speed runes on right now. But as you can see, finally we do have the lane advantage and we can not push because um, Morgana is Mia. Um, but really that's not my goal. I don't actually aim for tower hits. I'm just aiming for some mass farming. And as you can see guys, I'm at 64 farm. I actually pulled ahead. Their next best farm is at 46 with Gangplank. So I'm actually 18 above their mid if my math is right, which probably isn't. But that sounds right, about 18. So really I'm just out farming at this point. Um, I see Gangplank hitting our tower. I'm gonna... I think I ghost up there. Um, a lot of damage going down by Nivea. Um, Gangplank not gonna engage. And then he turns around, and this is where I'm gonna be able to strike him. I did use my ghost there, and I'm just gonna chase him down and be able to pick up a kill. So, that was a good, good, um, amount of gank. And that's the thing, is with, um... Because I did pick up those early boots, I have so much more mobility that I am then able to just bust out the damage. And a little bit of an interesting ult. We really weren't in position for that ult timing. And I do not think we're going to be able to get her. I don't. This Anivia, I think, leveled up the wrong spells, to be honest. But I will be able to pick her off, or Anivia will. Honestly, with four of us here, I think we should just tower dive her, but none of us are that tanky. And she, I don't know, big mistake on Leona's part. I don't know why she would do that, even if she could flash out of the way. Because I'm going to chase her. I was a little bit unaware of who was up and who was not in lane. Apparently, bot was Mia. And so I do pick that up, and then I'm going to book it out of there. I don't have any mana, so if she stunned me, I would be in trouble. But I am able to pick up the Leona kill. A good flash from uh, that one dude, Alistar, able to keep him out of the ult. Um, they are all here, though, and we are really low, completely out of mana. I'm going to use my E as the last-ditch last me method to try and save the rest of my team, and then I'm going to book it out of there because I'm worth some gold. A lot of damage going down on Malphite. I don't have enough for my ult, which is unfortunate. And he looks like he's turret diving, which is not going to happen. just going to slice him in the face. And that was my ult. Or was that my ult, or was that his ult? I think that was his ult. So yes, I just now have enough for my ult, but with Soraka there, I'm not going to be able to kill Irelia. And instead, I'll be forced to hold this turret. Um, hopefully Cho'Gath will be able to push because they honestly are all up here right now. Um, I do have my ult, so I can keep them off the turret for quite a bit. Um, and I see a lot of damage. I'm actually just going to pop it, um, even though... You know, you can save it. Um, I think it honestly the best method use for his uh, ult is save turrets. And it did give me a lot of farm, so completely worth it. If you see a large push somewhere, you have your ult. It is always a good idea to just pop your ult, save the turret if there's a champion there, kill all the minions, and destroy his push. So now I'm in a, a little bit of trouble. Um, I'm not critting too often. My crit chance to see is only... 28% at 17 minutes. So, you know, if I had all crit runs, I'd do be doing a little better. And if I hadn't bought this IE or this um, Ionian Boots of Lucidity, I actually think I would have um, had an IE by now, which is kind of a bummer. But I do get my BF Sword. And wait, let me see. Yeah, I actually would have perfectly had my IE at 18 minutes if I didn't buy the Ionian Boots first. Which, you know, did help me with two ganks. So, you know, it was still worth it in my eyes. But 
Um, I'm just, I'm not 100% sure if you want to get those first. I honestly think IE is better. So if you are going to follow this guide, I would go IE first, then Bionian Boots. And um, for starting items, because I'm not going to get the Average Blade, I would either go with Mechie Pennant in two pots, or I would go with, um, and build the Mechie Pennant into a Chalice, because obviously I've run out of mana a lot in this game, and I probably could have gotten kills if I didn't. Um... Uh, so Mechie Pennant in two pots, or I would go for um, Shoes and three pots, and then go straight in IE. Or two pots, depending on how aggressive you're feeling. Because if with Remove Scurvy, you don't need to buy that many pots. So with the Anivia gank here, um, I really did look like she was going to face check it. Um, a little bit of a miss on Anivia. And so we are not going to pick up those kills, but we should be able to pick up this tower. It does not have much health. I do have my ult in case they want to stick around after we kill the tower so that I can kill them. And Malphite does go down again. So Malphite is currently going 0 and 6. I'm going 3 and 0 and Anivia is going 6 and 0. So or 6 and 1. So we're trying to carry here but yes, and there's one of those crits creating for about 400 420 damage is a lot of damage to go down on a champ at once. Um, if you could see, that's about a third of her health. So it's quite painful. And a good dodge from Irelia. Wow, giant tower dive. Actually, double tower dive. Choke out all the way to here. So playing pretty aggressively. But we should be able to pick up this tower. Honestly, Anivia does not need to be here still. But it's okay. Morgana and Irelia are still down here, and they will be pushing for turret. Gangplank, meanwhile, going to go for mid. I did ult it, and because of my ult, the minions are going to all die, and then he's going to get attacked by the tower, hopefully. I don't know if he realizes that. Yep, he is going to take tower shots. One of the reasons his ult is so good. Um, clears the creep wave and puts damage on the champ, so able to take down that Gangplank. And at this point, I'm literally 30 away from my IE, which will be a giant item. I was going to go take blue buff from this Malphite, and I don't know if I actually do. Nope, I don't. You don't want your people to rage, even if they're going to 0-6. Honestly, don't don't cause anger in anyone. Um, it's just not worth it. It's going to cost you losses. So, with that, I should be able to back and get an IE. First, I'm going to grab red buff, though. Um, because red buff on Gangplank is kind of ridiculously good. And you don't really have trouble jungling at any point in this game. Um, after level 3, you can go take whatever buff you want. You can go take camps. Um, if you have a really good lane and you're with someone who could solo and you guys don't have a jungle, feel free to hop in the jungle. But you will be sacrificing farm. That's one thing you definitely need to understand is if you do jungle Gangplank, you're not going to have the same amount of farm and the same amount of damage late game, which is really what you're building for with Gangplank. Um, I have seen people who run pure crit runes do really well early game, um, and that's good because that, that does get you fed, but honestly, I would say armor pens are the better runes, and they're the ones most people are going to have, too. Um, so with this, I do pick up my IE at about 22 minutes. Um, I should be getting a... Uh, let's see. Should be getting... Yeah. I actually sold my Baller's Club and then I realized I had I needed it. So you can buy a Baller's Club first and then build that into a PD later. Um, I would say Boots first is better. But I haven't actually made the whole guide yet. I plan on actually writing a guide sooner. And there's a lot of damage. There's my ults, I believe. Yeah, I just ulted that. Hopefully to kill or help stop Leona getting away. But there's still a lot of damage going down mid. I think I made a mistake in going... Um, I was running down bot for a little bit. I should have just gone straight for top. They do look like they're going to tower dive her. I get here just in time. Going to go straight for Irelia. She's not going to get away with this double slow. And I will be able to pick her up most likely. Gangplank also very low. I should have gone for a gank on him. Um, but I am going to shoot him and take him away because he is going to lifesteal. And that could have been a little detrimental to an Avia's health. So at this point I'm 6-0. Um, I did apologize. I did, wasn't sure if that was a chaos or not. Um, I was not sure how much lifesteal he was going to have to 
possibly get away, but you know, it's all good. So as you can see, when you engage with Gangplank, just you spam Parway as much as you can. You want to get the damage down that you can. Um, you can see I just did an amazing amount of damage to her. She is going to get away barely. This ult is so frustrating to deal with. And Morgana does get away. So the power of a support, definitely annoying. But could possibly give us a turret advantage. So it is 12 to 12. Um, I have half our team's kills at this point. Um, trying to poke with my Q. Um, still getting farm. Obviously, you want to be getting farm all parts of the game. I'm at 100 farm, 110 farm. I'm about 30 farm in front of everyone, 30 to 40 farm. So, I mean, obviously, I've been farming quite well this game um, using my R or my E so that teams can get away. Um, that's not my ult, by the way. That's their ult. My ult should be coming shortly. Obviously, I don't want to use my ult if it means I can't use parlay for the rest of the fight. So, um, it's really a call on that. So, just a little bit of team fighting. And here's what I'm going to say in team fights, you want to be the glass cannon. You want to stay in the back and just poke with your parlay until you know they're weak enough that you can engage. I see Irelia has a lot of damage on her. I'm going to go straight for her. I crit for about 600 and she goes down. So, that's what you want to, that's your role you want to be able to fill. You want to see where your opportunities are and then seize them. As you can see, I'm out of mana. I can't even, can't even Q. I would be able to kill one of them with Q. Yona's low, I go in and I Q her and she goes down. I have no mana though, so I honestly barely get out of that. Um, that's the one thing, you got to be careful with your amp mana. I couldn't use a remove scurvy and that definitely cost me. And we see Malphite with his quick uh, guardian angel should be able to escape. Um, a good save by uh, Alistar actually keeping Morgana off him. And he should back as soon as he can. Oh, I think she's stuck. She actually got stuck, so that's kind of funny, actually. And then Chogas Pop helped her back up, but regardless, um, you should probably not be engaging with the support there and Irelia. So with that engage, I was able to go 8-0. Um, one thing you want to notice is I really stayed in the back. The only time I ever actually shot anyone was when I knew it was safe to go in the front and... Um, and A, either pick up a kill or B, um, be able to do enough damage. So that's really what you want to do in team fights. You want to, um, yeah, just be the glass cannon. Be like a Tristana glass cannon. And as you can see, there's a lot of farm here. Going to pick it up generally easy. I should not be in the front of this. <laughs> Realize I lose like half my health to minions. Um, I also am interested in picking up blue buff. As you guys saw last fight, I ran out of mana. And I don't believe I even used my ults because I was out of mana. Um, that would have been some easy tower diving at the turret if I had had my ult and had been able to double slow them. There is blue buff up. I should go take it. Not sure why I'm not. I mean, we do have an Anivia, and Anivia does need blue buff. So, I mean, for those reasons, I don't want to take it, but I don't know. It, I used my ult a little late. was trying to stop them from uh, getting too much damage on the turret. I have a lot of mana, though, so I should be okay to hold this turret. Leona going with a turret dive way out of position is not going to be able to kill her. Gets her an egg form, but that, you know, I don't think that's worth killing yourself for. And that brings me 9-0. and oh, So clearly I'm getting a little bit fed. <laughs> um, I should be able to get my PD pretty soon, which is going to really increase my deadliness and my, um, crit chance. I've seen a lot of room, a lot of builds that don't actually um, build that many um, PDs. I honestly think it's a great item that um, I usually get two PDs. Um, I'll just go over my build. I get Boots of Ionian, an IE. Uh, well, at first I get an IE. First get an IE, Boots of Ionian, um, PD, second PD. I get two PDs just because they're such good items and they're pretty, I mean they help so much in so many ways for what they are. Or for how much they are. And then I get a Bloodthirster. And then possibly another Bloodthirster. Or um, an Armor Pen item. Depending on if they're getting armor. If they're getting armor I'd go either Black Cleaver. Or if they're getting more than that. Get a. Um, that other thing. So I see GP here. I, I could 1v1 GP so easily. Um, their GP is definitely losing to me. 
Um, and then we see this. So apparently she didn't get the memo they were backing. And so this is going to be a pretty much free kill. And obviously it's going to go to me because I do the most damage. And GP ults us. I, I'm not sure about the skill level of this GP. I'm, I mean, that seems like a wasted ult to me. And GP was right around here, but we couldn't engage him. Um, so I have 10-0. I have about a lot of our kills. And I see GP. I blow my ult. I thought he was going to continue running straight. So that was the one mistake I made this game. But in a way, it did section him off from the rest of his team. Because his team was right there. Um, Malphite ulting right onto that GP. Um, where am I in this fight? I'm in the back trying to damage them. I did shoot the tank. That was a bit of a mistake. And I look like I'm going to be taken out by their GP. I do kill him, but he's going to kill me as well with that red buff. So I do go down. Um, the Grog Silver Blade did stack on me, which if you guys didn't know, it stacks the um, damage after death and the slow, um, which is deadly. A good flash from Cho'Gath will get him out of there um, with about half health. And yes, that was the first time I died, which is kind of a bummer. So I did pick up a second zeal, which I'll be building into my second PD. Um, and they have a large push mid. Um, Cho doing the smart thing, though, and going bot and making sure we don't lose a second turret. Because clearly Envia can hold turrets. She's one of the best turret holders in the game. And I'm going to go try and farm. As you can see, farm is a little more... E Actually, it's not any more even. I'm at 144 farm. I'm about 50 farm above everyone. So really, that's the game I play. I play Cho GP for the latest late game possible. Just farm every second you get. Um, and with your E and your mobility and your R, you should have no trouble getting way ahead of people in the farm. Definitely go into a support lane if you can. Go with someone who doesn't need farm. And here I am. I'm going to engage them. I did use my ult try and slow them. I did not know tower was right there. But it will keep Leona off from the rest of their team and allow me to pick that kill up. Um, she gets a little out of position. And I am going to go for it, but she is spell immune, which is allows her to avoid that ult. I keep poking with my Q. I pick up the Irelia kill, and I should be able to pick up the um, Morgana kill. I am going for a big, big turret dive. Um, I queued her, parlayed her, and then went in to hit her in the face. Um, I see GP is going straight for my Alistar. I go for that, trying to save his life as best I can. Obviously, I'm doing much better than his GP because I'm good at GP. Um, which, by the way, guys, I really don't have much practice with GP. I just He's really not that hard to play at all. Um, if you pick him up, you will do well with him. Trust me. Just follow my guide. Farm, and you will win. Um, I'm sitting about 15-1. I'm clearly carrying this team. And I did pick up a blue buff, which is incredibly important on GP. Um, not only for the cooldowns, which makes me so I have a parlay with a three-second cooldown, which is incredible. And just, I mean, I can down Dragon in no time. And look at this movement speed. I have about 482 movement speed, which is pretty good without E. I think with E, I have about 500. And once I have my second PD, and that's that's really what gives him his gra glass cannon potential. I'm actually about to pick up my second PD, I believe. Is the fact that you, you're so fast, you could just get in and out without problems. And with my second PD, I have about 500 move speed, and that's without my E on. And now I'm going to go for my Bloodthirster, getting the Vampire Scepter just for some beginner lifesteal. Um, I do not use my Ghost. A lot of times I use my Ghost just to get around the map, not to escape. Because Gangplank just has a slow anyway, so you don't really need it for escape. I use it to get around the map and get to farm. Another thing with Gangplank is flanking is really important. Knowing the right situations, obviously their Gangplank or Morgana is up here. So if I can stop them or her before getting to them, it's always good. I'm going to go straight for their support. And with this, I should be able to ult and do a lot of damage. Uh, Nivea picks up one kill. I did not actually throw down my ult. Going to save it for some tower dive in action or something. Um, able to pick up that kill and soon we'll be able to go for Morgana. Should be able to Q her with an one hit kill. I'm only getting about 12, 12 gold for these guys because they're not worth much. 
And I believe I'm about 18. I picked up another ace. So honestly, guys, if you just play for the late game, if you just farm, you're going to hit so hard. Um, as you can see, I'm like a farming machine now. I could almost get a, I can get a BF sword already after just going back. And with E and your team, you can destroy turrets so fast. It does give everyone attack speed. Um, 30% uh, attack speed against towers is incredibly good. I do see Soraka. I want to go tower dive her, but I'm not going to be that aggressive and greedy. And they are going to surrender. So I hope you learn a lot from this game plan guide. Um, I think it's a good one, honestly. Just farm. That's basically all you have to do. Farm. Step A, farm. Step 2, win. That's basically all you got to do. Be careful in team fights. People are going to focus the crap out of you. But if you use your remo remove scurvy at the right time and your um, E which is Rally. If you use both of those at the right time, you're going to get out of there just fine. Um, so just farm it up and win. That's pretty much how you play Gangplank.